Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, today I have a completion review of my first ever Diamond Art Club. Do what makes you sparkle. It's a partial and it's a round drill and it's poured glue obviously because it's Diamond Art Club. So, I thought I'd let you know what I think about it, uh, my views. As I say, this is the first one I've done. Uh, and we'll do a de-kitting as well because I've got all my... Uh, resin gems to put away okay so first things first what did i like about it well it's poured glue uh it's nice quality it's got a sparkly canvas the drills went down really easily um very little trash if any uh the thing that made me go wow was when i first tipped out the AB drills into my tray to put onto my canvas and I just went wow these are amazing let me just grab my pink tray because I've been using my uh, Hatfields design pink tray while I've been doing this one so that we're all prink, pink prink <laughs> pink for uh, breast cancer care it's uh, breast cancer awareness month for October and this canvas was done for the um, DP kit for breast cancer care 2021 uh, I'll put all the details down below sorry my brain's just gone completely blank but yeah I was you know just tootling along doing it and then I tipped out the ABs and I went wow there are ABs and there are ABs I don't know if these will show up brilliantly uh, on camera but they are just so sparkly. And uh, yeah, that was the first bit that I was really impressed with. So that was a big thumbs up from me for Diamond Art Club. Um, there's a few things that uh, I won't say that I didn't like, but I wasn't overly fussed with, shall we say. Not really negatives, but just not overly bothered just my these are just my opinions as i say so please don't all come at me <laughs> i know a lot of people swear by diamond art club will only buy diamond art club kits uh, and that's fair enough each to their own look at that wonderful so just pop that on one side there my little uh, diamond tray don't you think it all matches in lovely pink uh yeah so um, the felt back on the canvas, yeah, it's lovely and soft and it feels really, really good quality. But the problem I found was because I don't stick my canvas to an easel or anything, I literally work on this bit and then I will turn it round and I will work on this bit. Probably because on this one, with it being a partial, I just did it a colour at a time. So I worked on all one colour, then I worked on all the next colour and all the next colour. And I was finding, as I was trying to turn it, because um, the board that I use is a little bit rough, so things don't slip, this kept just sticking. And I was finding a real job actually getting it to slide. Now, it's sliding lovely on here because this actually is... Um, well, it's vinyl that I've put on top of my table. So possibly I need to be looking at where I'm going to be doing my diamond painting in future. Um, oh, my, fa <laughs> my fairy just popped in to say hello. <laughs> uh, I'm not keen on the pixelation. I know because this is small and it's only a partial, but the edges to me are very sort of pixelated um so yeah it's because of the canvas that it has actually um and the way it's designed from a distance you don't really notice it but while i was up close doing it i did find that you know these jaggy edges weren't really um didn't really do it for me <laughs> uh, particularly around the cup handle and as you can see there, look, that one's just moved itself out of place, just as I've been uh, showing you now. So, yeah, it, it's not the favourite, my favourite picture that I've done, shall we say. I think the charting of it is superb. 
because this really does look like it's a shiny piece on the front you know you really do get the 3d of the cup um the little spaniel puppy you've got the colors and the depth and you know you really do look as though that nose and that um uh, chewing gum bubble are coming right out of the canvas the red and the glasses and everything and the eyes looking through really do show up so you know it is superb it is good quality uh, you know you can tell it's the quality but there were just little odd things that didn't make me go wow that's the best canvas that I've ever done that's the best picture that I've ever done uh, will I be buying another one um I have got another one to do again it is partial that it's the Boston Terrier one that I've got to do um probably and I would like to eventually have a go at doing one of their huge canvases and have a look at their squares um, to see, you know, what all the hype is about Diamond Art Club squares. I'm very much a person that I don't... Um, I like to form my own opinion, shall we say. So I don't follow what everybody else... If somebody tells me something's marvellous, then I want to know why it's marvellous and I want to try it myself to see, you know, why it's so good. And as I say, I have tried this. Um, possibly not the best one to start with. I should have got a, a full drill so that I could see how they all go together and everything. Um, but yeah, you're paying for the quality. You're paying for the serged edges on the canvas, which um, just as a point of interest, I know people say that you have the serged edge on a canvas uh, to stop it from fraying. Has anybody had a canvas fray? I've never had a canvas fray. Um I've had one where it's had an odd string, but then I've just cut that off. Um, and I always do think it's such a waste. That there's this beautiful, really pretty, like lacy, uh, serged edge detail on something. And then if you're framing it, you're just going to cut it off and throw it away. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Um, but as I say, I've always been sort of bemused there's quite a few companies do like the scallop the serge edges now can you see that there yeah i mean if you've not had a diamond art club you maybe haven't seen it or you've maybe not had a canvas with it uh yeah it does show quality it certainly shows quality but i don't think it's such a shame that you just cut it off and throw it away when somebody's gone to all that trouble to put that on um but yeah certainly i mean for the hand charting for the color depth for everything you know it, it you're paying for what you get you're paying for a premium product um at the moment sadly because the uk postage is quite high uh, it works out about 20 pounds um in postage and i just think i could buy other things with that 20 pound rather than paying it out on postage at the moment so it may be a while before i actually get another diamond art club to try but i will let you know what you think and i will do my boston terrier that one uh, is on the list to be done and i will let you know what i think to that one as well you know um but at the moment this one won't be going on the wall um i do think i know it's the picture and it's the size but i do think it could possibly have been smaller maybe that's just me um, and i would like to have seen this as a full drill because I think that would have, you know, really um, tested out, shall we say, the quality. But yeah, I, I don't think, I mean, it's going to be quite difficult to get um, a frame 41 by 48. Um, you know, I think if I'm looking for a frame, I'm possibly looking for a frame so that it's more of a rectangle. And I know it may lose some of the picture and sorry to the artist. <laughs> um it's set Mary, is it Mary Lynn, Mary Lynn, Cazenave, um, that was the artist for this one. I've seen quite a few of the different ones and I don't think they're all cute. I wish you'd do a Scotty though, please do me a Scottish Terrier. And then that one would definitely go on my wall. But for now, this one will just go in my portfolio. I decided as well, with it being my first one, I've not added anything else to it. Um, possibly now looking back, I would have put ABs in the glasses. I've got some red ABs that I would have put in the glasses. Um, possibly put an AB in the eyes as well, just to make the eye sparkle a little bit more. But yeah, um, I wanted to do it as was, just to see. As I say, it's just mainly the edging that I'm not keen on. And it's it's just the way that the picture's done. Um, but yeah, on the whole, 
I am happy with it. I do think it's good quality. I do think you're paying for a premium product. So yeah, it's it's a thumbs up on the whole from me. Um, but yeah, the postage unfortunately does put me off. But we are getting some really, really good quality uh, canvases and companies in the UK now. So I would sooner spend at the moment my twenty pounds um, with them. Um, and then I can have a look and see what I think to their canvases compared to Diamond Art Club. So watch this space and we shall see. But let's get these diamonds put away. Okay, pop that canvas. That one will go in my uh, A2 fold. I've just got a new batch of A2 card to go in my A2 fold. It's quite hard, difficult to get hold of A2 black card. Right, so uh, let me have a look. We want oh, the ABs I will put uh, separately because they're the Diamond Art Club ABs. So I'll pop those out of the way for now. But we are going to start on number 300. So I want to be in box one of my storage. Okay, and this is my Admiral Zest. Rebecca's, uh, well she used to be four kids at 147, uh, Rebecca's storage. It's just basically you have a card um, with every DMC number on and then I have a, a, round, a round for bags, a bag for rounds and a bag for squares for each colour. So as I'm putting away, I know that there's a bag there that I can just put my gems into and pop them away. Um, I did think because I know that these are resin gems, they are the top quality resin gems, um that i may keep them separately but to be honest then i'm going to end up with bags for acrylics bags for resin bags for ones ooh, that i'm not quite sure about so they are all just going to go in together and what i'll have to do if i run out of a color or i need a color then i'm going to have to just as i normally do tip them out into a tray um and pick out which ones i want and which ones are the best okay so we are starting under number 300 so let's get the 300 out quite a few of these in here so i do tend to do quite a few sort of earthy colors animally colors because i do do a lot of animals if you watch my channel you will know i do a lot of scotty dogs and things okay so let's pop that one away so i hope everybody's doing okay um so this canvas is being done for angela's uh, and mindy and oh gosh I can't remember the other lady's name, so I do apologise. I'll put them across the screen uh, and I'll put the links to all their channels down below. And it is for breast cancer care, um, which is uh, dear to my heart, I have to say. Um, I've lost several friends to breast cancer and had several other friends that have had breast cancer. So it is something that um, I do support. Uh, we have a local charity here. Uh, in Kingston upon Hull, Hull as we call it, and uh, they raise money locally for our best breast cancer care unit. They are called Hair Breast Friends. which is Hull and East Riding Breast Friends. Oh, I've got some three tens there, I've got a little bag for three tens so they can go in there so ah, this this is just a little bag i've got and then i'll be putting them into a bigger bag as well that i've got downstairs at the moment because i'm playing about with projects watch this space uh yeah so yeah hair breast friends what they do um the money doesn't go to like a big national pot it stays in our area and what the ladies do is that they raise money if they need new equipment for the ward or what they did was um one of the first things that i know of that they did when i first started getting involved was um when ladies are having the radiation um that they had to sort of like open the top and show both of their boobs and uh, it wasn't particularly pleasant if you were just having one boob worked on or you know radiation at one side so what they decided to do was um get some sort of tops so that one side opened and one side didn't so you were like keeping your dignity a little bit on one side and just having to show the other and uh, they bought the hospital a lot of those tops 
they also for uh, every lady that um they come into contact with with breast cancer care in the unit they do like a little care package for them and they make those up and they put um various different items in like moisturizers and like a hot chocolate and i'll i'll, I'll put a photograph of a, an oldish one uh, which was one of the last ones that I saw. And they're just like a nice little care package, just a spoil yourself package, just full of all little bits and pieces. And um, they also have what they call um, a damn it doll. Uh, and it's like a doll that has got like a little poem on the front and you can pull it and throw it. And, you know, if you're in one of those modes and you're upset, you can just take it out on this little doll. You know, it, it's just all nice little ideas, just things just to say, hey, we're thinking about you. Um, and here's something just for you, just to pamper yourself a little bit. Hope it brings a smile to your face and hope it makes you feel a little bit better. So, you know, I, I like supporting more of a local charity. Um, a lot of my dog charities, uh, animal charities that I support are ones that I know where the money goes. It's not going um, to like a big corporation or anything. Uh, and you get to know what your money is actually being spent on, which to me is a bonus you know I, I like to know that I, you know when I do um, donate to charity when I raise money for charity that uh, the money is going uh, where I want it to go and that's the people that are affected and uh, yes yeah, certainly with her best friends it is uh, do you have a, a local charity that does anything similar um, for your hospitals uh, let me know in the comments down below I know it's um, you know there's a lot of very caring people out there that donate a lot of their time to helping others and um, they are marvellous okay so there's some beautiful colours in here these reds are gorgeous okay yeah I did lose uh, my partner in craft as we used to call each other um, to breast cancer uh, she started off with breast cancer and then sadly it did spread and a few years later it did take her from us and it did put me off my uh, crafting for quite a long time um, and some of the places that we used to go I mean it used to be right there's a craft fair on how we go in how we going to uh, 601 why are they at the wrong side of the 600s let's put that back there oh look we've got 597 there as well oh I've been messing about here look at this is that just one card or is that two? No, there's 601, so that wants to go there. That's 600, so they want to go in there. Excuse me while I just sort myself out. Oh, dear. My friend would be laughing her head off at me because she just knows what I was like. <laughs> in fact, I'm sure she's still laughing her head off at me. So, yeah, uh, it was very difficult to go to craft fairs and things after I lost my friend because, you know, it, we used to go in together. I've got a lot of happy memories, but at the time it did make me really, really sad. But I do find crafting is a good healer um, and one of the sort of uh, make and take days or crafting days that I used to go on we used to. Um, go to Doncaster Race Course and it was called Crafting Live I think it's called Summer Crafting now it's arranged by yeah, Create and Craft Television um, or it has been most years and um, yeah you know there's about 250 300 ladies all in a room and uh, you all craft together do like workshops and all craft together and it's marvellous and the first year I didn't go um, because we should have been going together and I just couldn't face it and then the next year I thought I'm gonna go I am gonna go and I went on my own um, and it was difficult you know going on your own somewhere but obviously crafters are lovely ladies and I got sat on this table and we just had a great time good laugh um, I told them a little bit about my friend you know and that I was on my own today and they were sympathetic but you know, everybody's got their own stories um, as to why they craft. 
and we all had a good chat and uh, so good laugh and it was brilliant and I just think crafting is so soothing and helps so much and um, when I decided that I wasn't doing uh, my card making quite so much anymore I did used to make and sell my cards um, and uh, do designs for cards and sell sheets and things for the people I do still do that I do still uh, I am still part of the craft shoe print family um, so my designs are all still on there for people to buy uh, some of them I'm going to get made into diamond paintings actually because you know I, I do like the pictures I do like the designs so I will get those done um, okay sorry about that uh, I can't remember where I was now because somebody just shouted me downstairs he thought there was a dead mouse down the side of the dishwasher and it wasn't it was one of Millie's little fluffy soft toys how she'd managed to get it through down there I don't know but there's three of us all looking with a stick <laughs> I'm on my hands and knees, Hubby's sat in his chair and Millie's sort of like underneath me looking, she's like, what we're looking at, what we're looking at? And I, I sort of like stabbed it, I said, well, it's not moving, so it's definitely not alive. And then I gradually pulled it out and it's a little soft toy. <laughs> oh dear, you don't have to be mad to work, live here, but it helps. It's a crazy household. But uh, hey ho. So, yeah, I've got um, lots of happy memories of uh, my friends now and uh, all our different um, workshops and everything that we used to go to, crafting and the craft fairs. Uh, we used to be, part reason we called each other um, our partners in craft, as in partners in crime, um, was because sometimes if we knew that our hubbies weren't happy about the amount of stuff that we were ordering and buying, um, we used to order it and get it sent to our house um, and I'd get her, her name on it and she'd get it sent um, and I'd say, well, it's not for me, look, it's not mine. And she'd say, well, it's Lizzie's stuff, look, it's not mine. <laughs> How naughty were we? Oh, dear. But I'm sure they know, knew really. But uh, yeah, the amount of stuff that we had in the house. But yeah, um, oh yeah, when I, you know, finished uh, card making, um, what I actually did was donate a lot of stuff. I mean, the poor lady, there was about five boxes full of card and embellishments and all different things um, that I donated because her breast friends um, do actually have a craft class and I think it's on a Thursday morning all the ladies meet up and they do making cards and crafting and all different things so I donated all this stuff for them to use um, and at one bit I had over a thousand greetings cards that I'd made um, and there was no way that I was going to sell them all uh, I did sell some of them off in packs and donate some of the money from the sales um, but then what I did was just gave all the cards to um, her breast friends to the um, charity and just said you know would you like these um, to sell and uh, so yeah uh, I uh, donated as I say it was about a thousand cards that uh, went to them that I'd made um, and then they can sell them or you know do whatever they want with them um, just looking to see where my squares have gone on my 666. That's not good. It's escaped. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, heck. Okay. Oh, there it is. Look. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that's my round one. Ah, oh, must have put it in the wrong place when I was uh, de-kitting previously. Phew. Don't want those to go missing. Hecky thump. So, yeah, I do, you know, still keep in contact with the ladies. Um, sadly, another one of the ladies uh, has now passed. That uh, was like a friend of my friend that I got quite friendly with, as it were. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, quite dear to my heart, uh, breast cancer care and raising money. So, let's get uh, these put away. Right, so do we need to be in box two? We do. Oh dear. So yeah, a little bit sad. But, uh, happy memories of a lovely friend. Okay, and let's get on to box number two. Get these put away. Okay. 
Okay, so where are we? 814 is the next number. 814, 814. Where are you? 814. There it is. I've only got squares there, so where's the rounds gone? Oh dear. That's 815, 815. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Look in the previous one. Uh, I know I have got one bag missing and I can't remember what the number is, but uh, my daughter has done a, a great big Halloween picture and she got right to the end and was 25 drills missing. And I'm like, oh no, don't worry, I've got some. I'll uh, send you some through. Um, she lives uh, about an hour's drive from us, so we don't get to see her um, as much as we'd like, shall we say. She works um, and obviously she's got the girls as well. So, you know, we, we chat a lot anyway. Um, but yeah, so I'll get those through to her. She throws her drills away. Oh, I just can't do that. Um, the crafter in me just will not let me throw things away. I am getting better. I can throw cardboard boxes away now. <laughs> Even if it is a really good cardboard box, I do throw them away. <laughs> okay, nine, three, eight. So, I hope uh, today is finding you well. Um, and uh, big healing hugs to all of you that are having a tough time at the moment. And I uh, hope that crafting or diamond painting can help you and uh, help with your healing. Okay, so let me look, let me look. Let's get that put away. It's just gone really, really dull in here, so I do apologise if it's still gone a little bit dark. I thought I'm going to get uh, some filming done today because I need the container for some paintings that I'm wanting to do. Um, and also, it was nice and bright and sunny this morning. And I thought, right, I'm going to get some paint, some uh, a video done while it's nice and bright. And as I've been sat here, it's getting duller and duller and I've got a horrible feeling it might rain. It's not allowed to rain. I've got a new screen to finish putting up on the fence. Uh, if you remember in one of my previous videos, I was saying that we've put like a, a fence screen up. Um, just to, you know, a bit sort of a privacy fence really. It's more to stop um, Millie, uh, Millie our little Scotty, just sitting and staring at the kids next door because we've got some new neighbours now and uh, they're a blended family so some weeks they've got uh, two children and then I think it's every other weekend they have four children there and obviously they're, they're quite young or they're really cute and uh, they play out in the garden and Millie just wants to go and play with them but she's absolutely adores children and yeah she just goes and sits and looks through the fence at them so by putting like this screen up you know she'll hear them but she won't be able to see them because you know not all children like dogs um and they don't want you know her around in the garden playing with them because she might bite their toys or you know, dig holes or things so uh, yeah so the one that we bought wasn't quite long enough so we had to go and buy another one so i need to get that put up because at the moment we've got like this great big long screen <laughs> and she just walks to the end and sits and looks there <laughs> Right, on my next box now. Oh dear. Yeah, she's like, why have you put this up? It means I've got to walk a bit further now to see where I want to be. <laughs> Millie just looked as if to say, oh, I don't know why you're putting this up. I can just walk to this end now and see this. <laughs> okay, so let's just... Uh, have a look, we want three, three, seven, one... Three, one. I always have trouble with the threes. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's because it's no, that's three seven. Oh, look, I'm looking in three sevens now. Three three. Three three. Three three seven one. There it is. It must be the four numbers. I don't think my brain can go any higher than three numbers. <laughs> oh dear. Three, three, seven, one. Let's get that one put away. Uh, yeah. 
Let's uh, look at in the garden, sort it out gradually. And uh, yeah, it's coming up to winter, so we can then plan what we're going to do next year. Um, hubby wants to be a bit more proactive with it and try and do because he did like gardening um, before his hospital stays. He did absolutely love his garden and he used to do quite a bit. He did work a lot of hours, um, so we didn't get a huge amount done. 3766, I want 3776, that's it. Um, but yeah, we used to have a, quite a few plants in the garden and he used to like his summer flowers and spring flowers and everything so we need to uh... that's the right one yeah so we need to uh, get that sorted out just realized i've knocked the camera and you were getting an awfully skewed view of what i was doing and 3801 38383 3804 so it must be up there 3801 that's the square so that's the round okay just a couple left to do on this so really nice drills 3801 that goes in there and get these taken off and what have we got? 3826. Okay, the first year that we had Millie, um, we had quite a few big bushes and things in the garden. And she just used to go and get hidden in them all the time. Um, so we decided that we'd have a complete overhaul of the garden and give it a good clear out. Um, plus she was just jumping in all the flowers and eating all the flowers and digging all the flowers up. Um, so that one's three, eight, five, six. So yeah, we just decided, right, we'll just completely redo the garden, and uh, we just more or less nicely got it all cleared, and we're getting it all ready. And then hubby went in hospital, so uh, for the last two years, really, it's just been in a state of waiting for us to have the time to be able to do it, um, and the strength as well, because hubby's. Uh, been very poorly so we've not really been able to do much and uh, when he's having an off day then I do just like to stay with him um, and that one's number 604 so why have I still got that one in there why did I not use that one that was number six. so I need to go back all the way back to box number one to put the last one away silly me okay uh, oh one thing we have done <laughs> I'll put the picture in. Um, one of our neighbours around the corner has got like this round perspex porthole in the fence and we couldn't work out what it was for and then they got a new puppy and it's so that the dog can look through the fence and see what's going on so because Millie goes and lays and looks underneath our gate we've put one of these portals in the gate so rather than having to lay on the floor and look underneath the gate she can now just sit there and watch the world go back through the portal <laughs> oh dear I'm sure the neighbours think we are completely barking mad as it were um, but yeah Millie loves it she can just sit now uh, yeah she, she's getting a little bit big to be just laying on the floor and looking underneath the uh, gate but yeah she, and she'll just go and sit there and uh, she's on cat patrol uh, and I can say the CAT word at the moment because she's not in here she's because uh, um, her dad's baking some sausage rolls at the moment so she's gone downstairs to uh, sniff out the sausage meat <laughs> We do spoil the dog. What can I say? She's part of the family um, and she brings us a lot of laughs and a lot of love. Okay, so I've just got uh, all my bits to put away. So I didn't use these stickers because I got sick of uh, having to mess about with them. <laughs> so we have a completed 
bubblegum spaniel. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at uh, this review with me. If you've got any comments about Diamond Dark Club, you know, what's your experiences with them? What do you love about them? Uh, then please pop them in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. It's just this little button down here. And if you want to see what I get up to next, if you press the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.